During culinary school and my time in restaurants, I was always told to season food with salt early in the cooking process, not just at the very end. And I've done it that way for years, never really questioning this conventional wisdom. To see if the timing of seasoning makes a notable difference, we roasted carrots and prepared beef stew in two ways. For one batch, we seasoned the dishes at the very beginning of cooking, and in the case of the beef stew, also when we added the onions. For the other batch, we withheld all the measured salt in the recipes and added it at the very end. The roasted carrot samples were drastically different from one another. Those seasoned before roasting with a half teaspoon of salt were properly seasoned and flavorful throughout. Meanwhile, the carrots seasoned with the same amount of salt after roasting were seasoned only on their exteriors and also tasted inedibly salty. For the beef stew, when we seasoned the meat before cooking and seasoned the onions when they went into the pot as directed, the stew, and particularly the meat itself, were more evenly and deeply seasoned than those in the sample salted only at the finish. Furthermore, as with the carrots, the stew's gravy tasted far too salty when the salt was added at the end. So, what's going on here? Well, we all know that salt penetrates cold food slowly. In a previous experiment, we found that it took 24 hours for salt to diffuse into the center of a refrigerated raw turkey. During cooking, the rate of diffusion increases. In fact, it doubles with every 10 degree increase in temperature up to the boiling point. Now that's fast, but it's not instantaneous. Furthermore, salt penetrates vegetables even more slowly than it does meat. This is because the salt must cross two rigid cell walls surrounding every plant cell, while the cells in meat contain only one thin wall. Adding salt at the beginning of cooking gives it time to diffuse into the pieces of food, seasoning them throughout. If you add salt only at the end, it provides a more concentrated, superficial coating that immediately hits your tongue. So, for the most even seasoning and well-rounded flavor, we strongly encourage seasoning foods early in the cooking process, as we direct in our recipes. However, if you forget, do not make up for it by simply stirring in all the salt at the end. Instead, start with a very small amount. We use only 25% of the original amount of salt for the carrots after roasting. That's an eighth of a teaspoon versus half a teaspoon and 31% for the beef stew, which is just over half a teaspoon versus two teaspoons. Then taste the food and season further as desired. This is the science of good cooking.